When you open Dreamweaver and you choose File New, you have um, some choices to make about your new document. If you are new, the recommendation is to just make a new blank HTML page with nothing set in the layout. So as you can see, there are different um, templates that Dreamweaver offers um, that you could work with and maybe after you've um, finish some of the exercises in later chapters. It might make sense to work with some of these templates and modify them. But in chapter one we're just dealing with the new blank document. So once I create a new blank document, um, you can see I've, I'm looking in split view here. If I were in design view I would just see the design area which would, which would look like a blank page. If I would look in code view I can see um, what Dreamweaver provides for me when I first open a new document. So it actually sets me up with the sort of bare bones infrastructure of an HTML document. I usually work in split view and that way I can see that any changes that I make on the page are reflected in the code. Right? So I wrote hello over in design view on the page and I can see that in the code hello which is the content that I would want to print on the web page shows up in the body area of the um, HTML document. When I make a new document, um, one of the first things that I do is I title the page. And um, again, I'll notice that when I click out of that title box, uh, that I'm going to see my title tag now actually says whatever it is that I just ran up in that title box. Dreamweaver is designed to help you add content to the page um, in design mode if that's where you want to work uh, or in code if that's where you'd like to work um, by giving you this area for just adding content and then showing you how that content is applied in the code. Now the last thing that I'm going to do is just choose file save. Um, actually I'll do save as and I want to just show when I save as what I want to do um, always is saved to my desktop. So on my Mac I would choose my um, user profile and then I would look into my desktop um, and then that's where I want to be saving my work. You could also just scroll down and click desktop and that would get me there as well. Let's see it's kind of going to the same place. On the desktop, let me expand this a little bit. On the desktop I'll create a new folder. Um, and then I'm always going to name this first page index, all lowercase, with the extension .html there. And I'll press save. Now that I've saved my page, I can preview it uh, by uh, looking at it on the web um, as a sort of mock-up. So I'm going to preview this time in Safari. You can use whichever browser you're comfortable with. Uh, but you're going to see um, sort of just a... a a view of your page but this page is offline. Whenever I see file appear in the web browser uh, that alerts me that I'm not looking on the World Wide Web I'm looking at a file that's saved on my hard drive and in this case it's on my desktop inside a chapter 01 folder and the name of the file is index.html.